tools we've been using. So why don't we take a walk through our shop? Come on in. This is our Weller soldering station and we use this to solder our electronic parts on our robot. This is our grinder and we use the grinder to grind axles and to smooth out sharp edges. Alright, so here we have our clamp which we use to hold pieces down while we bend them more precisely to 90 degrees or to file them more quickly. Alright, so this is our drill press and it's an important tool that we use on an almost daily basis that we use to make a variety of holes in our robot. To make these holes, we also have a ton of drill bits that we can put into and adjust to the proper width for this. But before we make any holes, we have to use the center punch here. So what this does is it guides the drill bit into whatever material we're drilling the hole into so that the hole comes out nice. So we use aluminum and polycarbonate pieces to make a lot of the parts of our robot, such as the bucket that we have this year. So we have scrap pieces like this and aluminum sheets. And a really helpful tool for making these parts is the bandsaw that you see here, which helps us make precision cuts. So let me show you how it works. The bandsaw is really good for making those cuts to big pieces of aluminum sheet. But if we were to want to make something like this, which is an internal cut, we'd use our scroll saw. So we make a lot of polycarbonate pieces out of polycarbonate sheets. And the way we do this is by using this machine, which is a plastic bender. So when you turn on this machine, you take a sheet of polycarbonate like this, and the metal bar in the center heats up and makes the plastic soften. And this allows us to use this uh, wood mold and bend the plastic once it's soft. And we can end up with pieces like this. So this is our bender, and we use it to bend all our aluminum pieces. So how it works is you stick your piece inside, and then you bring the metal blades down. And then as the blades come down, they force the piece into the 90 degree mold on the bottom. Alright, and now if you check it's 90, we use this right angle ruler. And as you can see, it is about 90 degrees. So now I'm going to talk to you about a 3D printer. We use the 3D printer mainly to prototype parts such as this, as you can see here. These are the prototypes for our sprocket design that we initially had for our drivetrain, so 3D printing is very helpful for prototyping. You can use any CAD software to get a 3D printable part, and you use a USB to transfer that model onto the 3D printer, and you plug it in. And once you have that part in there, you start the printing process by choosing your part, and then putting glue on top of the platform, so you basically just spread it evenly across the surface. And once the part is done printing, which takes a couple of hours, it'll be pretty much stuck to the platform, so you can use this scraper to get the piece off. So whenever we need to drill precise holes in a pattern like this, we use our CNC milling machine, and this milling machine is hooked up to a computer that uses G-code. And here are our drill bits and cutters. These are our lubricants, and these are our jigs, and we all use this to be able to drill holes in our parts.